In this tutorial, we'll be going in depth into treating this folder, but uh, we've adjusted our logged out side menu, and um, it now it's now looking for log like the logged in version. So we're going to um, that's a little uh, mistake we made in the last. This is the guy we edited instead of this other one. So we'll just exchange. So we'll go to SRC templates. We will look for our uh, elements. We we'll look for the side menus, and we discover the logged in side menu. And so logged out side menu. Okay. Um, what we did was a mistake when the user is logged out. Okay. I'm just gonna copy this. Come to this. We're just exchanging them because we accidentally did uh, the other exchange in the last video. So I'll copy the code in this and replace it with what we have right here. So that's settled if we click here and refresh just to be sure it shows us the logged out version of it cool so we are good to go and um, we're going to log this guy in from hillary click enter and then we we add the side menu here so what we can do is to add the elements we copy an element all right we we'll copy this then we edit it so what we are looking at here is the users index user slash index in cake in cake php this slash index um, does not you don't need to put slash index once you call the controller name it will display the the index of it by default so what we're going to do is um right here we look for that slash index will go back to our templates look for users look for index and then um, we remove the top menu that it the only unique thing it has is that we can add new users so we're going to add that to our menu so we side menu logged in and we are going to just copy this and delete the rest of this so we'll go to the side menu logged in and add a new which is add new and remember right here there is a reason why we won't add the controllers apart from all this one that has to change we will not add the controllers let me show you so if you come here and refresh what we'll have here is the new logged in side menu. As you can see, we have the new logged in side menu. And this says the new user. So we're going to remove user. And um, we're going to do something interesting. But before then, let us duplicate this. Apart from adding a new user, you can um, do a number of other things. Which is, we can say... Uh, Hold on a second. Well, I think that's pretty much the only thing we can do here. So in the next video, we'll do a, a little more. So what we can do is we just set new and um, we refresh. This you change to new. Now, what if we had a post table? This is just users table. What if we have a post database or table in a database with a post model and view like this? Uh, what would this be? It should take the name of whatever is available here. It should just take the name and put here. So what we have to do is to pass the name of what we want to have here into our element from where we are calling it. So we are in index calling the side menu. We should pass a variable to it to tell it uh, what is available there. So we use block brackets. We'll just call the variable name something. We can just call it a view name. You can name yours anything. So the view name value is user. So now we've created this, we can now go, this value, this will be passed as a variable into the side menu. So we can go to the side menu and call it. So we can now go to the side menu, concatenate, using PHP's concatenate, which is dot. We can say side menu. That's how to pass a variable into your into your your elements so if we now go back and we refresh 
we have an error in our code. I believe you must have seen that before me. So I'm going to fix it. All right, there it is. I accidentally deleted this. So right here, we're going to put a dot, then put the variable name. So it will say new, and the variable name is what we are passing to it here, which is user. So it will say new user. And if we refresh this page, this error should be gone. And it says new user. So if we're in the post page, we can just say new post. In the post page, when we're calling this, we can just change this to post. All right, so it knows which to show us. So, and um, as you can see, this menu only works for when you're viewing an index page. But what, what if when I'm viewing a particular user profile, we need a menu that has a deep delete in it among all the other lists. So we need a way to know whether this is a view page, all right? So what we're going to do is, um, in the next video, we will add all these other ones. But uh, something we can try is to, uh, on your own, as an assignment, you can try and adjust this menu to be demarcated. As you can see, they're all mangled up. So you need we need a way to demarcate this demarcate that and so on so that we know all the menus that have to do with this current view and all the ones that has to do with um, more advanced stuff all right i'll do that and in the next video i'll show you